Pasa Familia, sending blessings from Peru. Wondering where you guys are right now. Let me know if you're tuning in. Where are you in the world right now? Would love to hear from you. I'm this beautiful space in Peru that's, you know, if you can see the mountains down there. It's so magical, so powerful. We just finished a retreat, a couple of retreats actually. First did a first a team retreat and then we had uh, 24 people going super deep for nine days it was very powerful and I wanted to share with you guys some upgrades because I feel you know every upgrade I have I always love sharing with you guys so that's why I'm like live right now would love to hear from you and also you know whatever you're going through your life right now I think I'm gonna come more often here and support you guys um, any questions that you have, any doubts that you have in your life, I wanna be offering more time for you guys here. I feel just so connected to my tribe and you know, I've been uh, absent a little bit because uh, it's really been a very deep retreat here, but uh, now I'm back. So let me just sit down so we can chat. Have a nice chat here. That's it. That's one right there. Okay, Facebook's on, and then we have Instagram here. So we're all in the same page. Yeah, familia. All right. Yeah, hello, hello, Bakhtin. Hello, Persephone, Oana, Natalia, Gary, Jamie, Adela. Many people on. Thank you, thank you guys for creating this vortex together. So good to see you guys, Paula and Mary, Cynthia, Frank. You guys are rocking it. Thank you for showing up right now and creating this space together. So yeah, I opened the space for you guys. Any questions that you have, anything you wanna, you know, share? I I I feel very open to do that right now. And um, what what something that I've seen, guys? It's really like how connected we are to manifestation as human beings and how many times um, we don't access that because just we, we don't know, right? It's something they never teach us in school. It's something that you can't choose as a career, right? And it's funny because it's like, it's your birthright. You are here as a creator, right? You are a co-creator. Call it with God, the universe, however you want to say it, right? However you want to name that infinite energy that unites us all and um, since they never teach us how to tap into this energy of creation like accepting we are divine beings we are here to manifest that's actually our purpose and not to manifest just like our desires and having more things and all that that is a result of our capacity to manifest but but really guys what I've seen more clear is surrender that's the word that keeps coming you know and all this deep work that i had and working with clients also it was like we always come back to surrender why because i feel our ego can get a lot in the way i want this i need that oh why didn't i manifest this if i worked so hard for it i didn't achieve that like that's not working for me and guys the only reason why it doesn't work is because we are not aligned with the universe we're not aligned with a universal flow right let me know if you agree if you believe this too like there's there's a universal flow I call it a universal pulsation and it's happening all the time right it's expanding and contracting and if you analyze the universe that's really what happens with the universe right that that's how the universe uh, uh, right actually palpates that's how the universe expands and grows the universe is constantly expanding but it also contracts so there is like this pulsation like a heartbeat right and we are in this universal heartbeat it has a flow it has a pulsation and many times we are not accessing our power of manifestation because we're not connected to that pulsation we're lost in our minds too many thoughts too much going on in our lives we're lost a little bit in the outside world right it's so easy to get lost because when you go out to the streets or when you put on the internet and you know you go into social media or whatever we get bombarded for so many messages so much is going on that we get lost 
and we become almost like a feather on the wind just carried by okay whatever people say whatever people do whatever right more depending on the outside instead of coming from the inside right so what i what i've seen these days like so clearly is the inner codes we all have guys how amazing is that we all have inner gifts right or inner codes there are codes or frequencies right that are available to us all the time all the time like every moment if you can a little bit silence your mind if you can just take some time and do some breath and align to that align your mind with your body with your soul right this starts flowing through and it flows through ideas it flows through feelings through gut feelings like oh let me call that person let me go and do this let me read that book let me do this training let me go for a walk let me travel to another country i feel there's something there for me you know how many times i've done that guys and i've listened and that's what we say all the time um uh, we have that capacity to listen then after we listen, we listen, oh, what, what feels right? Then we're like, okay, I trust that. I trust in what I'm feeling. I trust in my God. Let me try it out, even if it looks crazy, right? Let me do it. And then after, it's like the action. I take massive action on what I am feeling, on what I am. And I'm talking about not feeling of emotion, right? I'm not talking about the emotion because now I feel in bliss or now I feel sad. or now I'm talking a feeling that's your the feeling of intuition. You can feel it when something is right or something is not aligned. You can totally feel it in yourself, right? And it's usually the first three seconds of a decision you're making of the next step in your life is the first three seconds you feel a full yes or you feel a no right but then the mind comes in and says like hey 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 what's going on um why are you not doing that that's crazy like why are you not going you know to see that person why are you not uh gonna go to the party why are you not going out to the restaurant where everyone is going right like we doubt ourselves in that first initial intuition gut feeling right let me know if you feel me because many times we've said no when it was a yes we've said yes when it was a no and we knew it right and then we're like oh my god i knew it i knew this why did i do this and then we're so hard on ourselves right who gets this it's so hard we're so perfectionist that it's like oh my god if i knew this wasn't the right thing all the time why did i do it Right? Or why didn't I do it? And that is the human mind playing games, right? So the more you tap into that inner silence, that inner space within, that moment of like, you know what? I want to be available to whatever is there for me right now that doesn't depend on what's happening on the outside world, right? And I can tell you something like super powerful. We were having like now in the, in the Peru retreat, we were having like, I was fully supporting people, right? So I wasn't doing my own thing, but I was fully supporting there, everyone. And um, I had very little times for myself, but the times I had for myself many times was like, okay, let me really tap into what I want. And one night, everybody wanted to go to the fire and, and, and be there. And, you know, we, would, we were singing and, 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 and just talking and just sharing experiences, right? It's so nice to have, you know, community and family and feel that connection, right? And one night, I'm like, everybody's like, yeah, taking instruments, it feels so good. And I'm like, mm, no, no, I feel to stay. And it's like, it, this is so weird. It was like the sec almost the last night, right? It was such a beautiful connection with the group. And I'm like, no, I need to stay and just be with myself. I need to like let the energy in and receive. There's something coming. I can feel there's something coming. And I know the outside world is going to be a distraction right now, right? How many times we get lost in these distractions. So I, I just stay there and receive. And guys, I can tell you, I, I had one of the deepest meditations I've had in my life. I went so deep. I connected so deeply with like just the infinite abundance and the infinite love that's available to us like every moment. And how this is really not dependent on anyone. Even if you have like the most amazing partner, the most amazing family, the most amazing experience that's going on right now. Um, Many times that even can be a distraction because the first connection, the first and most important connection is the connection with your inner self or your highest self or the highest version of you or your soul, however you want to call it, right? And how many times we kind of postpone that because it's like, oh no, something very important is happening on the outside. We're kind of wired into that. 
and we lose opportunities or just opportunities come later because sooner or later all things are gonna happen but we kind of get lost because we've been wired on living depending on the outside world right so the question is like how often are you tapping into that inner voice how often are you asking is this what feels right for me right now is it being around these people what feels right for me not if they're good or not not if they're like my best friends or not not if like everybody's doing this or not no 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 does it feel right to be here right now does it feel right to eat this food does it feel right to be listening to Juanpa right now maybe I have something else but oh my god this is this is this message is really clicking in right so you're like no matter what I, I'm gonna watch this this is what I need right now right and you follow that and you stay right and then you go deeper and then you understand you let it in because many times we've heard this information and you you've heard me many times talk about this before right it's not the first time but guys this is a reminder it's a reminder for me it's a reminder for you it's a reminder for all of us and when we're tuning into this life right now we're supporting each other right let's share some support for people right now I, I love when you guys tune in and 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 just let people know like yeah I'm in like I have that that happens to me before I'm learning to tap into my intuition yeah I sometimes get lost in in people's other people's worlds or being the pleaser right I used to be the the mr. pleaser guy right and uh, then I found that I was actually doing a disservice to people I wasn't really being loyal to myself respecting and honoring myself and that means energetically that I'm not respecting and honoring others even though if others are telling me I need you right now can I have your help right now I need your attention Guampa, right if I do that and I don't listen to myself I'm actually dishonoring and disrespecting them why because it's an energetic thing once you do for you you are sharing those vibrations with people and people get it that oh okay it's 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 all about you know honoring the other and not listening to myself it's something very subtle guys but that is the energy you are emanating around you and that is the energy that fe people feel and that is the energy that you're almost like teaching indirectly right I'm, I'm a great believer of the lessons we teach indirectly we don't have to be teaching a lesson and doing being a professor being a teacher it's, it's not about that it's like really being ourselves when you are authentic and real salute when you are authentic and real you are letting others know and providing them with that space and that freedom to be themselves too to say yes when they feel a yes to say no when they feel a no just by you doing it and sharing it from your heart honoring and respecting yourself they are receiving those gifts even if you don't tell them or teach them anything guys so it is the biggest contribution you can do especially in this world that is so lost right so as i was telling you i was in this like very very deep deep meditation it's so open and so aware of of everything and at the same time just so surrendered the more i surrendered the more it was like more coming through and at a certain moment when i completely let go of where i was and who i was and and everything all the matter things i completely got lost and opened and there was this like huge energy coming through my spine kundalini energy um however you want to call it prana uh, energy moving through your body uh electromagnetic field expanding from the center uh, doesn't matter how you call it um you can feel it you can see it and it went right to the back of my brain right, right to the back of my brain to the animal brain you know where we we have the survival mode and i saw myself in, in so many times where I was almost still controlling life in such a subtle way like it showed me it revealed to me like in all the ways I wasn't letting the universe flow through me you know and I thought I was and this is what I teach you, you can see me like this is what I, I'm all about quantum flow right it's all about the flow but many times you can't see those blind spots unless you ask them unless you're open to receive unless you you know ask your inner self your higher self uh, your guides the universe however you want to call this energy like I am open I am available show me reveal to me what's going on 
what's going on in my life? What am I not seeing right now that I have available to see? And this is what happened, right? I guys, I could feel it like, oh, birthing in my womb, like, you know, like a womb. I don't have a womb, but energetically, also men have a womb, right? We do have this energy here of, of incubation, of, 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 of regeneration, of giving birth, right? Of creation, like we all have an energetic womb, right? And for men, it's like, okay, the core and the power of the core, but it's not gonna come with the fire of the core. It comes through the surrendering. It comes through the listening. It comes through being aware, being available, and also asking questions. And that's my question for you. Do you talk to your soul? Do you talk to this infinite energy that's in you? Are you are you open to that? Are you available? Because many times we're asking for things, right? We're praying, we're asking, we're doing affirmations, but are you really um, available to listen back, to really listen what the universe is telling you, how it's guiding you through your gut feeling, right? through images, through your gut feeling, through ideas, through your dreams, through a meditation. Like There's so many ways. And when you're open, it guides you. You don't have to do anything, right? And this is what it revealed me. It was like, Wampa, you got to let go even more. You gotta surrender even more. You gotta release, you know, like all like, I have all this strategy going on like in the nest. You guys know we have a huge like project right now in the nest and it's amazing and there's so many people coming through. It's a beautiful community we're building in Costa Rica, right? You've, you've heard of that before. So I was fully like, just so into the strategy of creating and opening and like and, and the people are coming in and, and who's helping us in the project and we have a huge team of 30 people right it's it's a big big project and it was like you got to surrender to this and i'm like whoa okay thank you thank you thank you i released i saw myself where i was controlling where i was planning where i was like wanting it all now you know like wanting to accelerate the process and that's also something that happens when we want to manifest we try to accelerate the process our ego gets in the way you know it's like planting a seed and then going next day and checking if the seed is growing right you're gonna kill the seed if the heat if the sun hits the seed it's gonna it's gonna die and it's not gonna, it's not gonna grow it's the same with your manifestation you can ask you can you can pray you can meditate you can align completely right you align your emotion and your gratitude and you connect you focus your mind on what you're manifesting and you feel it you embody it you breathe it you are it right you know all this methodology through quantum flow right that's how you manifest but guys if the next day you're like what's going on why is it not manifesting in the next week you're like how is that happening maybe this is not working you know your ego gets in the way then you mess up the process right so all we do is keep aligning to that and i was kind of messing up the process myself the process of what was evolving in the land and how everything could have opened up right so i'm like okay let me get off the way and it showed me i just got shown like in every way i was kind of controlling and i'm like okay i'll let it go guys i promise you after like um i would say a couple of days i received the message from this like amazing person that's here to support us in everything we need support is in, in, in with the nest right now like it's it's like a miracle like embodied come true without even thinking about it because I wasn't even like okay a person like this exists you know that has all these qualities that's exactly what we need right now for our project right and, and, and that's like my mind questioning but of course if I trust Yes, there is the right person for to support you in whatever you need right now. There is the right book. There is the right training. There is the right experience. There is the right food. Like everything you need to be supported right now, it's available to you. But we got to stop. We got to listen. We got to surrender and constantly ask, am I trusting? Am I trusting life? Am I trusting that I am guided, that I am part of this perfect universe? Am, am, am I trusting that... There, there is a power greater than me, greater than what I and my little I can manifest. Am I really trusting or do I think I'm trusting, right? And underneath I'm full of fear, I'm full of doubt, I'm full of like, I don't feel confident, I don't feel like uh, I'm aligned to my purpose, I don't feel like, you know, in my power, right? This happens a lot, guys, and many times we're not growing real to see these things and like work on them. Because all we gotta do is let go of whatever's holding us back. All these emotions, all these thoughts, all these fears is what's holding us back from being who we are and letting this universal flow come through, 
right? But if we don't look at them constantly and let them go, release them, we're not going to be open and available. So if you're not open to your intuition right now, if you're not like tapping into your gifts, into ideas, into creativity, if you're not waking up in the morning with energy like, I want to rock the world, like this life is amazing. And I have so much to share with the world. I have so much to explore. I feel so good in my body. I feel alive and awake. If that's not happening, guys, it's because there is stuff to work on. We can't keep faking it till we make it. That doesn't work, guys. That's, that's like a 30 years ago kind of uh, philosophy that came through that really didn't work, guys. Like There's beyond that, and it's about embodying and, and really owning your gifts and opening space for your gifts, your codes, your energy to come through. Trusting who you are. Trusting that you are here to manifest that vision, that dream that you maybe had 10, 20 years ago. And then it died because you didn't trust. That is in you. And the universe is here to support you because it's not about you. It's about you letting it come through. You have a mission. Right? You have a mission to embody in this life. And you can embody it or you can die with the mission inside. You can die with, with the gift inside, with the music inside, right? And that's what, 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 what I want to bring to the table, guys. Like, how committed are you to really nurture those gifts and to really nurture, like, you have, like, so much uniqueness and so much, so much um, authenticity to share with the world. Nobody's like you. Please, please, please get this in you. Nobody is like you. There's no one like you in the planet. You are unique and authentic. And this means you have people that are attracted to that, that want to learn from that, that want to be around that, that will match that and connect with you and co-create together. There's so much that's available for for you but we gotta realize it we gotta not only know it and understand it embody it and feel it and for that we need to do the work guys we need to do the alchemy it doesn't work like oh i did a meditation here and there oh i did some quantum flow here and there oh i do yoga sometimes i do you know i read books sometimes and you know life is flowing life is okay okay so you want to be life is okay or you really want to embody the greatest life ever that's my question for you. Let me know in the comments if you're committed to embody the greatest life ever. Because the greatest life ever is waiting for you. It's waiting for you right now to say yes and to commit to that alchemy, right? That's what it's all about, guys. And, you know, I, I used to be that kind of person that I used to just be playing around, you know, when I started this, this journey, guys. You know, like, I started this journey very young and... and and, and, and I, and I kind of got lost in like full addiction, right? Full addiction of substances and party and 17 years old, I was wanting to die, right? It was, it's a very like kind of sad story. And I would have never seen myself do what I did if I would have stayed with all that trauma and all that wounds that I had inside of me, guys. I was ready to go. I was like, there's, there's nothing for me to do in this life. I'm no one, I'm not good enough, nobody loves me. I lost everything. I lost my family, I lost like the people I loved, I lost my friends, I lost everything guys. I was, I was lost, I was a lost soul when I was 17 years old, completely lost, completely lost and, and, and really like with no signs of life and it took me a lot of work, right? So I'm not talking from a place of like I read the book, I'm not talking from a place of like, oh I was born a millionaire with all these gifts and, and I've just, you know, I've just kept it going in the family, like no, that didn't happen to me. It was a very, very hard life, guys. And for me, it was like I had to work on myself constantly. And I remember part of my escape with substances was like, I just want to play. I just want to, you know, life is good. And even though I was spiritual, because I was in spirituality since I was nine years old, right? Um, um, even though that, like I was exploring substances in the name of spirituality, I was getting lost. I was actually running away from myself, entering altered states of consciousness, but kind of running away instead of finding myself, right? So um, in those moments, I was like, now I really got to get real. I can't be just playing around, you know, doing this method here, doing that little thing thing there reading that book and getting inspired and now my mom is doing this let me do that oh now my dad is doing this let me follow and do what he's doing oh now they're teaching this to my brother because my brother was dying right and we had all these healers and teachers coming through and that's what what brought me into spirituality but when i met a new teacher I was that's what i want to study that's what i want to do but 
guys, I never went deep. It was just like a, like a, like a fire, like a fast fire, right? It's a fire from hay. A hay fire. Whoosh, and then that, that exploded. And, whoosh, and that, that, that was it, you know? And I never went deep. There was this like um, resistance to going deep and seeing myself and seeing those parts of myself that were holding me back. Those parts that I didn't want to see because they, it was suffering, you know? It was like there were wounds in there. There was parts of me I just didn't like. And I just wanted to hide them, you know? But you can't hide from yourself, guys. You can't run away from yourself. It's impossible. You can't. You can try. You can eat all the sugar you want. You can have all the sex you want. You can take all the substances you want. You can be workaholic. I've been all of it. I'm not judging anyone here. I've been all of it. I promise you. My personality, you know, has been very addictive. So I had to do a lot of work on that, getting to the core of my addiction. And really what I saw as the core of my addiction was first, the love for myself wasn't there. I didn't really love myself deeply just as I was. I didn't feel good enough. There was a part of me that didn't trust in myself and I, I wasn't acknowledging that part. And I was, you know, I had a lot of, a lot of um, different beliefs and a lot of different suffering patterns inherited from my families, uh, from school, from all this stuff that I wasn't aware of. So I gotta get, I, I had to get run real guys and look at myself for where I was and where I wanted to be. And like what was like what I was manifesting, starting to own that I am a creator, I am a manifester. That was my birthright. I knew it deep inside, you know, because I had experienced little glimpse of magic, glimpse of meditations, glimpse of like inner experiences that were like next level, you know, at a very young age. But at the same time, I wasn't committed to keep going deeper and deeper. And that's where I see most people falling in the hole, guys. We do a certain work, we get to a certain place, and then wah, we forget about it. We think we arrived because now we feel good, because now we don't have that pattern. Now we're not lost in, in that procrastination, or now we're eating better, or now we lost those 10 pounds, you know, whatever that was. Guys, that's when you gotta go deeper because that means whatever you're doing is working for you. So keep going. That's not when you kind of let it go and like, oh, let me rest, let me have a cheat day, right? And then the cheat day becomes a week cheat day and then it becomes a month and then you're like, oh, how long ago I haven't worked out? How long ago I'm not like really tuned into my body, really like doing my meditation, doing my quantum flow? How long ago I'm not like really committing to the work, right? You start seeing yourself and you're like, okay, my ego goes in the way that's all that happens you know the spiritual ego gets in the way or the ego the achiever gets in the way and that's the part that brings you down that's the part that keeps you in the same box guys what I see with people you know with clients with students with people I love around me it's like we're so used to living in a certain box and we can't see we're in a box so we just stay there and we're like okay no i'm good that's enough for me we are in the comfortable zone of the box but if you can't think in outside of the box you're always gonna be repeating the same patterns and the same things the same people everything is always gonna happen the same because you haven't changed inside of you okay so yeah guys it's like a deep deep um activation that I received seeing myself how I was stopping myself from my dream from growing more from expanding more from being more uh, the, 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 the powerful light being that I came to be in this planet same as you and this will always keep happening guys this will always keep happening because that is life that is why we are in a human experience. We are in a human body to evolve, to ascend, to see whatever is not uh, uh, aligned to our soul. So we can really learn what it is to live from a soul. We are in a soul, a soul in a human body, right? But we forget, we think we are the body. We think we are the mind. We think we are the emotions. We get lost in all these different parts of self, but we don't really nurture that connection with that infinite self that's inside of us, right? And that's what this reminder is about, guys. It's really about owning who you are, remembering who you are, and committing to go deeper. You know, and, 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 and really find support. Find a methodology that helps you. Find people that you admire, that you see their lives, and you're like, I want to be like them. Like, that, they, they inspire me so much. Like, this feels so good. I want to have a life like that. Why not? Instead of envying them or having jealousy, get inspired by them. 
That's why we're here, guys, to inspire each other, right? And for me, like, the greatest inspiration to see is, like, when you also commit to the work, you know? For me, it's so beautiful. We're just right now in, in, a, in a very deep uh, quantum flow immersion, a 14-day immersion we're doing uh, all around, you know, rewiring into abundance and rewiring into creativity and, like, really opening up to that inner genius that we have. And, and it's so beautiful to see people having shifts. Guys, just like that. We have, like, amazing yoga teachers, like leaders uh, entrepreneurs we have people from different different parts you know different modalities different professions and they're specialists in, in whatever in whatever their their the the, the the passion is but it's so beautiful to see how they break free from that right and open up to more they open up to to a bigger vision they open up to to more gifts they open up to more energy that's available for them but why because they're doing the work and for me that's what inspires me more not not only for myself but when i see it in all of you guys right it's so beautiful to witness you it's so beautiful to see you guys shine it's so beautiful to 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 support you that's why I'm here and I love it. I love like that. That is my purpose. You know, it's like living on through my highest self, but also here to support you guys and see you guys embody it and see you guys get it into a, at a cellular level. Believe in yourself. Get to that inner power, to that inner confidence to remember who you really are. Right. For me, that's the biggest gift when they tell me, Juanpa, wow, this is like such a reminder like I keep forgetting but now it's in my body it's, it, it's at a cellular level I walk in this energy I move in this energy I breathe this energy I think in that vibration I my emotions are aligned to that right all the parts of self are aligned to that but why because they have done the work it's not just a gift that came it's not that they, they just woke up like that you know that we're kind of like into the fast food modality we kind of forget that there is some alchemy to do there is some work to do we're used to like pressing the button and then amazon comes right to you right to your door right we're used to like okay i want that and and, and let, 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 let me have it here in a minute right it's so easy let me look for it in the internet it's right there for me right we have been like almost like mal educated you know that life is like that and it takes a certain process yes we're manifestors yes we're creators but it takes a certain process and a commitment to ourselves a commitment to really digging deep into who we are, into why we're here, and committing to do the work, guys. So, anyway, if you guys want to go deeper in any of these themes, if you're really, like, into going deeper into all this methodology of knowing yourselves, of really, like, committing to unveil, you know, more gifts, more of your purpose, more energy, more abundance. Yeah, it, it'll be great to support you. We have a beautiful group right now, over a hundred people doing the immersion. If you're interested in going deep into the immersion, comment below uh, with immersion and we'll support you with that, guys. We, there's still like a second group starting soon. So um, that's going to be amazing to to feel you guys there and see you and support you if, if that is where you're at. If you're done with like always repeating the same patterns and the you know the same relationships and the and the same the same experiences and you and you're really ready to take your life to the next level that's that's the beginning of the journey it's like this 14 day immersion we do almost 20 30 minutes a day um, um, and you can go at your own rhythm and then we're gonna start an eight week intensive guys and this eight week intensive it's all the method of quantum flow, understanding the neuroscience, how your brain works, how your nervous system works, how you're stuck like through the nervous system there's stuck energy in your body and that's why you're not accessing more ideas more creativity more energy that's available for you right it's very beautiful when you understand the methodology and how your body works how your mind works and then you have a method to work through it step by step seeing feeling and embodying the results it's a very beautiful eight week journey right and usually like when people go into this inner journey of transformation um, what happens is like they can choose to be certified in this methodology so they can choose to be or, or do what I do which is I travel all over the world sharing this methodology right it's a it's a it's a methodology that helps people be the best version of yours of, of themselves so so what happens is like you 
are growing yourself, you're expanding yourselves as a human being, you're embodying more of your gifts, your energy, your creativity, and at the same time, once you learn the methodology and you've applied it to yourself fully, you teach others also. And then, you know, you can be a, a nomad if you want. I was a nomad for like seven years. Now we got a piece of land which was part of my manifestation to have a place where I could put some roots, but for seven years I was fully in bliss, just traveling all over the world teaching this. This, this, this was, was what I did. It was part of my vision, of my dream, and it happened, guys. And it can happen for you too, if you're feeling it, if you really believe in that, if that's really what you feel is like your inner calling. If you love like traveling and being with other communities and being with other people, or you love like, you know, just staying home and working online and using the methodology online to support others, there, there's so much available for you guys. So much available. You can look always for something that really feeds your soul, really helps you tap into those parts that a regular job won't give you guys, won't give you. I promise you, if you're just making money for making money, there's always going to be a, an emptiness. And you know this. You know deep inside if this is what happens to you, right? If you're, oh, you're okay, you're in the comfortable zone, you're making money, but you're not really tapped into why you're here, right? And this is what happens with quantum flow. You tap into your own flow. So people come, they learn the methodology, and then what they do is like they apply that methodology to whatever they're doing. Right? So what happens usually is that you start opening up to your own authenticity, to your own way of teaching, to your own way of guiding people using everything that you are and incorporating a methodology that's based on science. Right? So if you're interested on that, if you want to go deeper on that, just comment below with intensive. Right? If you want to go deeper into this eight-week intensive, we, were, we will be uh, sharing with you guys. It's going to start like in 15 days. And it's gonna just, you're just going to learn all the philosophy, all the science to understand it and then how to apply it in your life. Right, And if you are like, okay, this is amazing, I changed my life, like this really works, this feels incredible, I want to share this, know that anyone can share this because it's a methodology you can learn and then you can teach others to do the same. Right? It's, it's a very beautiful journey, guys. And this is, of course, only for the ones that are committed. Only for the ones that are done with, like, you know what? I'm kind of into the same loops. I'm kind of into the same patterns. I, I feel I'm getting nowhere. I'm kind of done of, like, just trying things around here and there, and I'm ready to go deep. Well, this is for you. But if you're still in that place, which is also a great lesson, you know, I was there for a long time where you're like, I'm good, I'm, I'm kind of comfortable right now, I don't, I don't really want to see those parts of myself, I don't, you know, I don't really even need to grow, I'm, I'm kind of good, you know, like, my life is, it's, it's okay. If you're okay with being okay, then definitely that's not the goal for you, right? You've got to have this, like, this desire, this, this inner knowing that, that life is Life is amazing and that life is here to support you and that there's so much for you to reveal, to unveil, but you got to do the work, right? So it's, it's really beautiful to see uh, people stepping up into that. And then we all get to, together in a community, in a tribe that's super supportive, that can really hold you and support you for you to go deeper, for you to feel safe, for you to open up even more and see that, well, there's so many people like you, feeling like you, and having stuff that you feel it was just you and all of a sudden you see that we're all the same and that we all are working through stuff and that we all have that human part that wow sometimes it's hard to deal with right but you just take it smoother you just more go with more ease grace and flow and you start like embodying that lifestyle more and more it's, it's a beautiful process guys and, and then the life starts flowing then the life just just gets more and more beautiful because you have different eyes to see life with and you have like more attention, more awareness on what's really going on, more awareness of your intuition, more awareness of, of, of who you are, why you're here. It's, it's a very, very beautiful journey, guys. Love it, and I love to share it with you guys. Let me just see um, anything, anything here, any questions. I was asking you guys if you had any questions also. Many of you guys joining here, I love it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So many people joining through. I love that, yes. Oh, I'm learning to tap in. It's a, uh, yes, I needed this so much. Thank you so much. I want this. Oh, I'm currently wanting answers. I know, and the answers are going to come when you're available. It's not about you uh, needing them or looking for them, you know. 
um, it's about being available to them that's what this uh, uh, live is all about right so beautiful beautiful to have so many guys here I love how Instagram is showing up more and more so beautiful guys thank you for all these comments that's a lot of comments I have to have to catch up with <laughs> and don't worry I will come more into um, into just answering your questions guys because I wanna I wanna be here more for you guys I know you guys have so much potential I've met so many ab amazing people in this tribe and once I've been there supporting them and like they really have trusted in themselves again like I see them shine after you know I see them like change their lives it's it's so beautiful to witness that so so I, w I will be doing that more often with you guys and uh, yeah I will you know ask for your questions too let me just check Facebook here to see yes surrender is the only way to go yes Nadine I know that's that's it right uh-huh yes you know when it's a yes or no oh my god so many messages here yes beautiful beautiful to see you all I'm not seeing many questions so yeah guys any questions that you have let please please let me know yes 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 so many of you showing up lack of money it's my playground me my value trust and surrender yeah Magdalena that's 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 not your playground Magdalena that is a part of you that you're working through right now lack of money doesn't exist it's your reality right now because you're tapping into that part that is a distortion it's not your birthright it's not who you are you're here to live in abundance, okay? Let's remember these guys. And if you're not in abundance right now, you can tell me, well, I have nothing in my bank. What do you mean? That's not true. Well, that's not true in this 3D reality. But once you focus on it, once you open up and you release all those beliefs around uh, abundance and how abundance is only for certain people and how you have to work so hard and how you have to do all these things that are not real are not true once you look at them once you're raw and real with them you won't say anymore oh that's my playground that's like where I usually am like I I, I, I never have money well if you keep repeating that that's gonna keep happening you see it's just gonna keep happening so it's about like okay let me look at that why has that been my playground where did I learn that? learn that where did I copy that what are my beliefs around money and abundance let me go deep into that and you go into that introspection and you really like find all those beliefs that are not supporting your true self which is abundance okay so you start letting them go and you start working through them and Magdalena I know you have done some quantum flow you've done the three-day challenge you've been really committed what's important is you keep doing the work you keep going deeper and deeper you can't just stay with three days you know you gotta go deeper and deeper because there is so much to change it's not gonna literally happen you know 40 years of, of, of distortion of, of patterns and and, 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 and and negative habits and procrastination and all this stuff that we're gonna change in three days or one month right it takes some time and commitment so so yeah it's just about being perseverant and going for it guys it's the only only way to do it guys let me see if there's any other question here seeing so many beautiful people here okay so many beautiful comments thank you guys I love you so much too. So much love I'm receiving here from Facebook too. You're such a beautiful tribe, everyone. Thank you for showing up and thank you for just being here. I haven't committed to doing my quantum flow and being in a comfortable zone for too long now. Fad, I feel you, man. I've been there too. No judgment. That's the thing, guys. We judge ourselves and then we bring ourselves down, right? Like, let's start changing that and like, okay, it hasn't felt good. How does it feel like to be disconnected from my practice? How does it feel to be disconnected from my meditation, from my quantum flow? What, whatever works for you, right? But it's like, okay, let me take five minutes. Promise, you're going to do five minutes. Okay, start small, guys. We, we just do it like, oh, it needs to be this and this and this and this. And it's so much that, of course, your mind is going to go crazy. It's like, oh, I don't have the time. Oh, that's too much for me. That's why I love quantum flow, guys, because you go, you do five, ten minutes, and you're set. You're in the flow state. That's why it's called quantum flow, because it 
it, it helps you open up to the flow state. And to get there, you don't need an hour and a half. You don't need two hours. You don't need to do all this complicated stuff. You just need to know what you're doing. Follow the process. Trust the process. Go for it. Surrender to the process. And it happens. You feel it. You embody it. Like, you know. Nobody has to convince you. Nobody has to tell you what you're feeling. You know it. Right? Like, you're embodying it. There's no doubt about it. And, and that's a good thing. Like, find the practice that gives you that. Right? If you want to know more about quantum flow, like, I would love to share with you. If you're just running into the, into the live stream, I was just going to close it now. But seeing your comments, guys, and, and knowing that we're all in this together, guys. And we all have ups and downs. And we disconnect and connect. And, and, and it's kind of like a reveal conceal. Right? It's, it's almost like a, like, a, like, a, like, a, like a cosmic joke what's happening like this life. Sometimes we feel so connected and sometimes we're like oh my god super disconnected and far away right it's part of the pulsation it's okay the thing is being aware of it and coming back to it right and if you want to try this methodology of quantum flow and learning how to enter the quantum flow state the flow state to be in full creativity in inspiration and optimal performance guys we're here to support you you know we have a beautiful immersion going right now it's a 14-day immersion um, comment below with immersion if you want to know about it more and if you want to do the eight week intensive which is of course way deeper it's for the ones that are more committed and really want to follow up week by week on different uh, inner works that we do and like really understanding the whole human being, the whole alchemy of self, the whole self mastery journey. If you're interested in that, just comment with intensive and we'll share with you um, uh, all the information guys. But, but yeah, w what's important is having the right methodology that supports you and then just being perseverant in going for it. Every time you know that you're getting to a place where you're almost there, you're almost touching it, right? That's where your mind gets in the way. That's where the resistance gets in the way. That's where procrastination comes through. Like, oh, let me just leave it for a little bit. Oh, no, it's okay. I'll just have a rest. I've done so much, you know. And that moment, you need it like one more practice, one more breath, one more meditation. Like, usually that's what happens. Your unconscious mind knows this. So your unconscious mind is wired to keep you safe, to keep you in the same safe spot. Because your unconscious mind thinks you're going to die. When anything is going to change inside of you, the unconscious mind takes it as a death, okay? So what's happening here is like you're teaching your unconscious mind that it's okay and if a part of me needs to die, which is your ego, a part of your ego, it's okay, thank you, I welcome that, it's okay. You let your unconscious mind know that it's safe and you're teaching the unconscious mind slowly until every time you're going to the next level, it, you're not going to feel that uncomfortability that much. You're not going to feel so much resistance. It's just not going to happen. It's just more smooth, right? But since you haven't tamed that and you haven't like really got, it's like a wild horse. The unconscious mind does whatever it wants. You know, you got to kind of bring the horse and say, no, no, I'm the master of the temple. It's not you. Like I'm the master. The soul is the master, right? And, and you come and hold it, right? And, and I'm here and I'm in the flow of the universe. But no, the, the unconscious mind... Is not the one that's that's leading the game here. What, are you kidding me? Who's leading the game is the soul. Like what? When did the, the unconscious mind come in the game? You know, they never taught us to see the unconscious mind, work with the unconscious mind, release and rewire the unconscious mind. Your unconscious mind is your hardware. Okay, and with the methodologies, for example, with quantum flow, we're using software. It's like a computer. You're using software to get into the hardware and change all those patterns and bring your hardware to its natural state, right? Which is abundance, which is energy, which is creativity, which is living on your purpose, which is feeling good with yourself, feeling amazing ab about life, about who you are, feeling really abundant in every cell of your being, in every area of your life. It's not just about money. You can have all the money you want and not feel abundant. Abundant is a state. You embody it. You feel it. You walk it. You move it. You are it. Right? But in order to do it, you need a software to help you come in, rewire all that hardware of all that stuff that's actually disconnecting you or keeping you clouded and not focused and kind of like all over the place. You need something to help you come back to that state. That's what we do with Quantum Flow, guys. And that's why we see so many people changing their lives like that because it's a work that goes deep to the core of the unconscious mind through the nervous system and the brain. 
right? And I could talk for hours, hey, guys. Um, I actually have now at 3 p.m. Okay, it's 3 p.m. in Peru, so I need to go right now. But um, it, it was great connecting with you all. Let me know also any questions you have, guys. I always come back to these live streams to answer your questions. I love hearing you guys. I love wherever you are at and how I can support you. If that is in relationships, is if that is in business, is if that is in health, if that is like just mindset or, or, or emotions or you, you know, energy, like whatever that is, guys, feel free. I'm gonna come more often to just answer your questions, guys, and support you because I believe in you. And if you're watching this and you've been watching this all this time, I believe in you. I know, I know you know who you are and that maybe you need some more support on that. And you know, I had a lot of support to arrive where, where I'm at and I have constantly support. I always look for support because yeah, and I don't want to get lost in like, I can do this alone and, and you know, I'm, I'm strong enough to do it. That, that's kind of a distortion that can come in and, and can kind of can mess up your process, right? So I'll be here more often around that, but let me know your questions, okay? Any question that comes through, um, please let me know. You can write it in this live stream um, and I'll come back to it. I will do a, another live stream soon. I'm traveling now to Costa Rica tomorrow, so I'll be like full on there uh, working on the nest for like three days because then I'll be filming with Mind Valley. We have a quest to do with Mind Valley. Seven days. It's part of like my manifestations. I was, I was actually embodying guys. I, I, I was always like calling in that quest with this uh, beautiful, beautiful uh, transformational. It's like a university of transformation. And, um, and yeah, they asked me to film seven days around quantum flow. They love the quantum flow method and uh, they want to do a whole course around it. So I'll be filming there so I won't be that available. But as soon as I have some time, I will come back and be here with you guys, supporting you and helping you thrive, okay? So, mucho amor, familia. Thank you for showing up today. Even if you're watching the replay, let me know you watched it. Let me know this helped you somehow. This inspired you somehow. I'm here for you and we're here together. Desde mi corazón hasta tu corazón, un solo corazón, familia.